Hello everyone! Today's tutorial is going to be an alternative ball gown skirt. Today's tutorial is just a little outside the box, but that's kind of what I strive for my channel to be. So it couldn't be any more perfect. Every time I have an event, I always have a picture of what I want in my head, but I can never find exactly what I want that is ready to wear. And this time I decided to make my dress. So I was set on finding a really unique and special kind of fabric. I already had an idea of how I wanted it to look. So I began the search and I ended up finding this really cool brocade fabric that I completely fell in love with. Although it had this skull print, the colors were just so bold and vibrant. It was screaming at me to be made. So for this project, we are using the simplicity pattern in 8328. The amount of fabric you need is going to depend on your size measurement, but if you're going with the pattern, you will need up to five yards of fabric. I will be doing view E. The only other things you need besides the fabric will be the seven inch invisible zipper that matches, a hook and eye, and some interfacing. I will be making my skirt in a size 18. For the skirt pattern, you'll only be using two pieces. So it's a very, very simple skirt, very easy to make. The pattern pieces that we will be using are number nine and number 10. First things first, and we are going to lay out our fabric and fold it in half. Go ahead and lay out your skirt piece, making sure to line up your center fold. And we are going to pin down and cut out three skirt pieces. If you have a directional print on your fabric, make sure that you're cutting it out in the right direction. Also make sure that you mark your little notches that are indicated. You will be doing the same thing in your lining fabric. So you're gonna cut out three skirt pieces as well. And second, we are gonna cut out our waistband piece, making sure to pay attention to the direction of the fabric. You will also be marking your dots and your notches on this as well. And last, we will be cutting out the waistband in our interfacing as well. Grabbing our three skirt pieces, we're gonna serge the edges or you can use a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. And we will do the same thing for our lining as well. To start assembling our skirt, we're going to lay two of our skirt pieces together, making sure that your nice sides face each other. Then you can pin this edge together. And then open this up, and we're gonna take our third skirt piece, and then do the same thing with your third skirt piece, making sure the right sides are facing together as well so that you create a giant circle. Decide which edge is going to be your back. And from the notch that you've made, you're gonna mark two inches down and that's where you're gonna start sewing your edge together. You're gonna to sew together all three edges with the 5 8 inch seam allowance.
When you start sewing that back seam, do a small back stitch and then continue all the way down like normal. And this will just help reinforce that bottom stitch for the zipper. So your back should look something like this. You can put your skirt aside for now and we're going to go ahead and work on the zipper. You're going to use your iron on a low setting and we're going to iron open the coils on your zipper. You can kind of see what I'm doing more in the video by what I mean when I say to open up the coils. And this is just going to help your zipper lay nicely as we sew it. So we're going to do this to both sides. On your skirt, we're going to iron open all of our seams. And then with the seam allowance that we left open for the zipper, you're going to go ahead and iron open that seam allowance as well. That way we can kind of see where we're going to line up the zipper when we go to add it. With your skirt inside out, you're going to lay the zipper so that the pull tab is facing into the skirt. You're going to line up the top edge of your skirt with that top edge of the zipper. And then you want the coils to line up with that edge that we ironed. And then go ahead and pin this down and you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now we can sew this on. I am using a zipper foot and you're going to sew as close to those coils as you can get. And I'm going to sew all the way down as close as I can get to that zipper at the bottom. Then I'm going to switch my zipper foot to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. Sewing as far down as I can get to that zipper. Then you can zip up your zipper and then you can go back and sew down the bottom of your zipper on both sides. You can also do a little back stitch to make sure that it's secure. Once that's done, we're going to go to our lining and we're going to sew our lining together the same way that we sewed the skirt. Also making sure to leave that same amount of opening for the zipper. Sew this together with the 5 8 inch seam allowance. Taking our skirt and our lining, make sure your skirt is inside out and your lining is right side out. We're going to tuck our lining into our skirt, making sure that your zipper openings are lined up. From here, we're just going to line up the edges of each side of our zipper opening. And we're going to go ahead and pin these together. So your zipper should be sandwiched between your fabric and your lining on both sides. Thank you. 
and then you're going to sew this on. Although your lining is covering your zipper, you can still feel where the teeth are. So you're gonna line that up with your zipper foot and you're gonna sew it down the same way you did onto the skirt. And you're gonna sew all the way down each side of the zipper, attaching the lining as best as you can. Next, you're gonna pull out your lining and flip it out. And once you flip it out, you can see that your zipper is perfectly hidden in between. Taking the top of both your lining and your skirt, you're gonna match up your seams and your centers so that it's nice and neat while pinning it together. We're gonna add a base stitch to the top of our skirt. Before we start sewing, you wanna make sure you have a three to four inch tail of thread. And starting at the edge of our skirt, we're gonna do a 1 16th inch seam allowance first. Going all the way around. Make sure to leave a three or four inch tail of thread at the end as well. We're gonna do the same thing at a three eighth inch seam allowance with a tail at the beginning and end of your stitch. Grabbing the two top threads at one end you're going to gently start pulling to gather the top of our skirt. Since my fabric was a little bit thicker, I definitely had to take my time gathering this to make sure that the thread didn't break. The way I end up gathering my skirt, for the two side panels, I gathered them as much as I could, and then I just put a couple small gathers in the front panel. That way I had a lot more volume in the side, but it gave a nice view of the print from the front. But you can change this up any way you want by moving the gathers around. and you wanna gather to just about the size of your waistband. We're gonna start working on the waistband, so I'm going to grab my inner facing, and we're gonna lay that on the inside of our waistband piece. And then go ahead and iron it down. My inner facing is just a little short because I ended up cutting out a larger piece for my waistband, and I didn't wanna waste the inner facing. So when you cut yours, it'll match up perfectly. On your top edge, you're gonna fold it over 5 8 inches and iron it down all the way across. I'm gonna tie off the strands of my gathers once I've gathered it to the size that I need. Don't do this unless you are sure, otherwise you can always leave one side untied to adjust accordingly. Tying it off just helps the gathers not move around or come out while I pin on the waistband. You're gonna line up your notches from your skirt with the notches on your waistband. So one side will hang over more than the other. and then line up your centers and evenly attach your waistband down and pin it together. We're 
we're gonna sew this on with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. For each end, we're going to fold the waistband in half and we're gonna sew across the ends a 5 8 inch seam allowance. On the end with your zipper, it should be a 5 8 inch seam allowance, but otherwise you're just gonna sew straight up from where your zipper edge starts. Once that's sewn, you're gonna snip off the corners a little bit and we're gonna turn this out. On your longer end, you're gonna finish sewing across that 5 8 inch seam allowance. and then snip off your corners from there as well so you can turn it out. If you need a little help poking out those corners, go ahead and use a chopstick and that'll push them out nicely. Continue to fold over your waistband and tuck in that seam allowance that we ironed, making sure to get that open edge seam allowance inside. The edge of the waistband should line up with that seam allowance. And we're going to pin this down. Now we're gonna slip stitch the waistband closed. In case you don't know how to do a slip stitch, I will leave one of my previous videos down below for you. We're gonna start working at the bottom of our skirt and we're going to hem this up. Here I'm measuring what I'm taking off of my skirt. So this part will solely depend on how tall you are and what shoes you're gonna be wearing with this skirt. So you may need someone to help you measure. Make sure you do add about a half inch of seam allowance and then just grab your ruler and you're just gonna mark up from that bottom edge all the way around to the measurement that you want. Once I've measured all the way around my skirt, I'm gonna go back and serge off my edge. But you can also zigzag stitch as well. I'm going to fold up my edge about a fourth of an inch and sew this down, going all the way around. You're gonna do the same thing with your lining, but take off an extra inch. That way it ensures that the lining isn't gonna peek out. The last part to this skirt is our hook and eye. On the longer waistband side, you're gonna add your hook, just a little bit in from the edge and centered. And you're gonna grab a needle and thread and you're just gonna hand stitch this on. And once that's secure, you can zip up your zipper 
and you're gonna fold it over the other end and you can kind of figure out where the eye is gonna go. At this point, your skirt is done. Because of the way that I ended up gathering my skirt, my side seams were actually really close to my sides, so I thought adding pockets would be a really fun twist to the skirt. Because who doesn't love pockets? So this is optional. I have added a pocket pattern down below that you can print out and follow along with this video. I'm going to be cutting out my pockets with the scrap fabric pieces that I have. I also thought making these pockets would be a perfect way to use up these scrap pieces that I had left over. And I was able to get about three pockets out of one piece, which is pretty awesome. So we're just going to pin this down and cut it out and then you want to make sure to mark your dots. You'll be cutting out two in one direction and then flip your pattern over and cut out two in that direction as well so that they are opposite. Or if your scrap piece is big enough, you can always fold it in half and cut it out like that. So I'm gonna begin by measuring out my pocket, starting that top point, lining up with the bottom of the waistband, going all the way down to the bottom of that edge of my pocket. And I'm just gonna use a seam ripper and open this up. It's actually a little easier to add your pockets before you sew your skirt pieces together. And I would just start your pocket 5 8 inches below the top edge of your skirt. So I'm just going to seam rip that whole section open and the same thing on the other side. Take your pocket pieces and you can serge or zigzag stitch all the way around. So from the inside of your skirt, we're gonna take that straight edge from your pocket and line it up with the edge of the right side of the opening, making sure that that top point of your pocket is starting at that waistband. And you're going to be pinning your pocket to that seam allowance on your skirt. Then you're going to take the pocket with the straight edge that matches your left side of your opening and do the same thing. We're gonna sew this down with a 3 8 inch seam allowance on both sides. So your pocket is only getting sewn to that seam allowance. So this is what you have and then we're going to top stitch the pocket to the seam allowance. So we're going to go back over it in the other direction. It's going to have your pocket have that nice fold and stay hidden inside otherwise sometimes it does kind of start to maneuver its way out.
So then you'll have something like this and we're going to layer our pockets together, placing a pin where the bottom dots are and then a pin where the top dots are. We're gonna sew a 5 8 inch seam allowance from the bottom seam allowance up to that bottom pin and then from the top of the waistband to that top pin. Make sure that you backstitch on both sides. So you should still have an opening to where your hand should be able to go into your pocket. Then we're going to fold over our pockets together and we're going to pin together that outer edge. We're going to sew this with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, making sure that you go all the way in toward that inner seam allowance from your side seam. So when you turn your skirt out, you have a pocket. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pockets are very easy to add. Once you kind of figure them out, you're gonna wanna add pockets to everything. I enjoyed wearing this skirt so much. I knew this skirt was gonna be different. I had waited to the last minute to make this skirt. So I kinda just had to go with it because I had nothing else to wear otherwise. And I'm really glad that I just went for it because in the end I got tons of compliments and so many people were like, it's so cool, it's so different. And it was definitely me. So I hope this helps you feel like you can do you. Thank you so much once again for watching and I'll have some more tutorials for you soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.